Hello. Today we're going to talk about mass shifting. Mass shifting is a simple action that every animal that has the capacity to move and big trees do. We move, sway to side to side, we shift our weight from one point to another, and we lose our balance and we gain our balance on a dynamic range of motion. The problem with that is that we are instructed in doing it in a certain way. If I am here, I am instructed to do it from here, throwing it from the hip all the way to here and then stopping it, and then up, and then down, or in any other pattern of movement. However, because we are taught to do it in only a specific way, and not make it a part of daily life, we lose a great deal of our natural ability. So it is best to just do a little bit every day, just to make sure that you still remember what you have and how to naturally use it. Here are a few variations on the same subject. First, just stand. And what I'm doing is just relaxing. Relaxing from one leg to the other, one leg to the other, like so. Why am I doing that? Very simply because this allows me to walk with hardly any effort. I'm already upright, so there is no spinal tension. All I'm doing, I'm relaxing to a side, then this leg does not carry anything outside of its own weight. So instead of moving to the side, I move in a 45 degree angle, and the leg is just being thrown forward. Now I'll show the same from the side, from here, this leg is forward, this leg is back. Let's talk about the dynamic ranges between the legs. So from here, I shift my body forward and to there, and it takes the leg forward. This way, I can just tumble forward, relax forward from leg to leg, and that can also work, let's say, backwards. From here, I'm relaxing one leg, and the other leg goes and continues. Let's take this even one step further. Why do I need to take it just one step at a time? I relax, and when this leg touches the ground, the front leg, just relax this one too. So you are always moving from side to side, forward and back. That way you can move with hardly any tension. If the camera will now pan towards the kid, you will see that he doesn't have any tension. He moves upright and he moves without hardly any sound. That's a wonderful thing that we all have and we usually forget that we try to propel ourselves forward with the power of our muscles. So I push my leg forward or I bring my leg up and then I brace against the ground. Why do we brace? We brace because we think that we need to hold ourselves upright instead of just relaxing forward, relaxing forward. That comes into a, another way. If I am thinking of myself as a posture, and from that I move from this posture to another posture to another posture, there is like a clicks on a watch, on and off, and A to B to C. Instead, if I think of myself more as a putty, or something that is more mashable, then I can find all sorts of variations. I can slide up and down, I can relax, and I can do anything with the same thing. Even, let's say, if uh, my car broke down and I need to turn a hinge from here, if I just remember that I have a leg, I can move, relax the leg, and help myself turn that hinge. Not just with the power of what is touching, but with my, the power of my entire being. The same goes into striking. If I strike, try to push, something linearly, or sort of side linearly from here, I feel the power, I feel the twist in my spine. But if I relax myself, then I am not just hitting, trying to push the air. Instead I am moving, propelling my entire being. And if something hits me, I am continuing to move everywhere else. So I am a lot less stoppable, a lot less affected by what I am encountering. All this comes from just remembering to shift your balance, to relax yourself. There is no action that you haven't done before here. There is nothing that is not applicable for every breath that you take. Relax 
by not exercising too much tension. Don't relax by forcibly trying to be fluid as that is outside of ourselves.